Right, this is a LEGO model to attempt to explain wireline compensation systems. So, what we've got here is a derrick, drill floor with a hole in the middle. Uh, we've then got a um, wireline deck, wireline unit, wireline engineer, and the wireline drum. So, what I'm trying to do here is explain how wireline compensation works. So, we've got the thick white line here which is the uh, compensator line so at the moment that's attached to the table so in real life that would be attached to the risers so that's that's uh, stationary to the seabed uh, so from the riser it goes up through a little hole in the drill floor and up to the compensator ship this white uh, piece of lego here and then it's fixed secure to the drill floor we've also got the wireline drum which goes through the lower shiv here and up again to another shiv, um, again represented by the white piece of Lego. Then goes down through the hole in the drill floor and down to the wireline tools represented by these tires here. Uh, the hole in the uh, picnic table here obviously represents the uh, top of the riser or, or the casing shoe, whatever part of the casing uh, it needs to be. So this is the system as it's set up and what it does is it represents how the wireline tools remain stationary when the rig is moving due to wave motion and tide motion. So if I move the rig up and down you'll see that the wireline tools represented by the Lego tires remain absolutely stationary. So this is happening because got two pulley systems and each pulley system is half compensated so the two half compensation systems mean it's fully compensated so as you can see as the rig heaves the compensator shivs here the white piece of Lego simply moves up and down and that's allowed to move up and down by the compensator piston or the elastic bands here uh, which are fixed between the um, derrick and compensator ships. So this just gives a nice example of what's happening on an offshore semi-sub rig when you're doing a wireline operation. So the limits in terms of weather in a, in a theoretical system such as this the real limit is the stroke of the compensator piston or the stretch of the elastic band. And the stretch of the elastic band is half of whatever the rig is moving at. So for every one meter of stretch of the elastic band, the rig would need to move two meters. So the actual heave limit in a theoretical system as this is really quite high. So you can see even with a lot of motion of the drill floor, the wireline tools are dead stable. So you can do your sampling or your coring or your pressure tests with good confidence that no matter what the heave of the rig, your wireline tools are static in relation to the uh, whirlpool. Okay, so that explains wireline compensation.